Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2023 solution. We will, today we will see what, how you can solve the LPP base question number 25, 57 and 65 with the help of shortcut tricks. Myself, Dr. Garg, I am working in the Thapar Institute, India. You can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harish Garg, or you can simply scan this Telegram channel, Nick, where you can find all those previous year videos related to the GATE 2023, partial differential equation, linear algebra, differential equations, as well as of the previous years, GATE 2022 and many more. All are available in my channel name, Dr. Harish Kirk, playlist GATE Mathematics. Also, you can find some videos related to the CSRNet previous year papers, start from the PYQ of 13 to 18 and many more are there, September 2022 and all are in the single playlist CSRNet. So now in this lecture, we will see how you can solve the LPP base question. Question number 25, in this you have to find the optimal value. Question number 57, you have to find the transportation problem solutions. And question number 65, again you have to find the optimal solution. How you can solve this question? B? Can you solve this question by graphical method? No. If you write the dual, what will be the variable? There are the three variables again. Again, you can never solve the, the graphical method. So what come in your mind when you think about this question? Definitely you will plan to solve this question by simplex method. But do you think that within a one or two minutes because you have this much time to solve this problem? Do you think that by applying the simplex method you have to write this as a zj minus cj then you have to enter leaving the variable. You can complete this question within a one or two minutes? Definitely not. So also do you think that whoever the examiner who have set this question for you, they are expecting that you are apply this long method, simplex method for solving this optimal solution? Definitely not again. So what, how, what is the approach behind this question so that you can get this solution within a 15 second? So I will tell you that shortcut tricks for you in this lecture. If you look about these three constraints, clearly say that this is the first constraint. If you add these two constraints, what will happen? 2x1, 4x2, 2x3 is 100 or you can say x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 is less than of 50. Clearly say that the first constraint and the, this combination of them are same. So I can write them in the combined form. This here, this is less than 44, this is less than 50. So it is satisfied as here. Is it fine so far? Now what is the meaning of that? It means these two constraints are redundant by the here. So that's a simple solution for that. Now how you can find the solution? That's a very simple. If I take, there are the number of the, there are the simple one equations. If I take x2 and x3 as a 0, this is 44. If I take x1 and x3 as a 0, the solution will be 22. If I take x1 and x2 as 0, it will be 44. Now you can check which one of the satisfied here. 44, 0, 0, 44. 44 is less than 48, that's satisfied. 41, 44 plus 0 less than 52, satisfied. So it could be one of the solution. 0, 22, that's a 44, satisfied. 0, 0, satisfied. 0, 88, which can never be less than 52. So it's, it's not the feasible solution. This, it is not the optimal solution. Of this, again you can see this is not satisfied because it's a 0 plus 88 which can never be less than 48. So this is not the solution. So that's only one solution will be here. Now you can look about the objective function. So your target is to maximize them. How you can maximize them? Clearly say that all the variables are my positive. So you can maximize this by maximizing x3. You can only maximize by maximizing the x3. Is this solution maximize x3? No, because x3 is my 0. Here is x1 is maximum. So that it means there are some more solutions available for you. So how you can find? How you can find the maximum value of the x3 from here? You can take this as a 0. And from here, x3 will be less than of 24. x3 will be less than of 44. So what could be the solution of this? x3 will be my here. Now what are those values of, there are the two cases, what are those cases are there? It could be that either x2 will be 0 or x1 will be 0. So if x2 will be 0, then how you can find the solution? So look at this one, if x2 will be 0, 
x3 will be 24 what will be my x1 this is 20 and if i take from here x2 will be 0 x1 will be my 52 there are the two possibilities similarly for this case you can see if x1 is 0 i can substitute in this line x1 is 0 x3 is my 24 what is my x2 x2 will be my 10 and if i take here x1 is 0 this is 48 if i take from here x1 is 0 plus 4x2 is 52 what is my x2 that is upper bound is there that is a 13 now you can check them which one is satisfied the given system of the constraints or not 20 0 24 clearly say that it is not satisfied here because it's a 20 plus 48 which is can never be less than or 48 so this solution is cancelled out 52 again is say that it is not satisfied this equation so definitely this is not the solution 0 13 24 look at this one 13 52 satisfied this is not satisfied 0 plus 48 sorry this is satisfied look at this one 0 26 24 it is not less than of 44 this cancel out look at this one so if i check for this one again 0 20 24 satisfied 0 48 satisfied 0 40 less than 52 satisfied so that is could be one of the solution so how many solution you have one is here so what is the optimal value of this 3x1 that is a 132 what is the optimal solution of this that is my 20 plus 120 that is a 140 so which one is the maximum 140 is the right answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve this question within a fraction of second instead of solving the long simplex method okay look at this next question in this case we have to find the initial basic feasible solution by the northwest and the least cost okay so let's firstly find with the initial basic solution by northwest corner method so what will be here it will be 20 it will be cancelled out it's a 40 then it is a 10 it is cancelled out 30 then it's a 30 it is my 20 then it's my again 10 this is cancelled out then it is a 10 it is cancelled out it is my 10 it is 20 then then it's my 20 and it's a 40 so it's my 40 and 40 is cancelled now what you can do is now i will find the same solution by using the least cost method so i can do is for you i can rub this side and i can write the least cost method with this red color what is the minimum value is here so what will be the solution is 10 30 what is the next one is here so i can write here as a 20 this is my 10 what is the next one is 3 so what will be here is 60 and 50 so it could be my 50 this cancel out is a 10 next one is 4 is a 10 this is my 10 and this is my 20 next one is 5 but it is already cancelled this is 5 but this is already cancelled next one is my 7 it is already it is 7 it's a 10 and it's a 50 so it's my 10 it is 50 it's cancel out next one is 9 sorry 8 but this is 10 is already cancel out this is my 9 but it is already cancel out what is the remaining that is my 10 but it is already cancel out what is the remaining part is 12 up it's already cancel this is already cancel this is 9 so it's a 20 this is my 30 then after that it is my 9 only this part is there so it is only left is my this is my 10 this is my 20 and this is my 20 so that's over now you can check for the northwest b so this is 20 into 10 20 into 10 is my 260 this is 100 this is because they are the same i can minus them it's a minus of 20 into 3 so that's a minus 60 it's a 40 because it is for the lc that is a minus so it's a minus of 40 
this is plus 190 this is minus 0 it is minus 20 this is red and this is 30 plus 30 into 7 is 210 is a positive this is a 0 it's a minus 200 this is minus 180 this is 50 this is 70 both are this it's a plus 120 now you can see that so you can see this is what you can do 60 200 is a cancel out it's 180 is a 20 is a 200 it will be plus 10 it's 40 it will be my 150 so what is that many part it's a 1 2 3 is a 300 380 is the right answer of this problem there is no need to write the two table here you can simply use this one and subtract this is a 380 is the right answer okay look at this last question so this is simply solved with the help of the graphical method you can simply draw the graph x1 when x1 is 0 to x2 will be my minus 1 and here so this is the line of this this is 1 comma 0 this is 0 comma minus 1 and this is 1 comma here this is 3 0 this is 0 3 now first one is 0 satisfied so it will be like of this case other one is away side so what is the graphical portion is this is my op this is my feasible reason now what would be the corner point here this is 0 comma 3 what is the what is, how you can solve them you can simply add them 2x1 is 4 x1 is my 2 x2 will be my 1 so it's a 2 comma 1 this is 0 comma 3 this is 2 comma 1 you have to find the minimum value what is the value of the j how you can minimize them x1 should be minimum so it will be here it will be 6 plus 4 10 so what is the minimum of this is optimal value of this problem is my 10 is the right answer so there's a very simple manner you can solve these problems remember i have described this optimal solution by graphical method i have because in this case you can't apply them if you simply add them first of all you can't add them one is a greater than second is less than so in this case such kind of the approach is not applicable so I hope you can simply learn the concepts. Make sure this is a very simple shortcut tricks for you. When the system is uh, redundant, then you can apply this method for finding the optimal solution. That will definitely save your time in the examinations. I hope you can simply like, share and comment on my video. You can simply follow this uh, CSR net as well as the gate mathematics uh, playlist on the channel name Dr. Harish Garg, where you can find the various lectures on this shortcut tricks. I hope you can like, share and comment my videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.